in there. Hey there, I'm Mr. C, and today I'm going to teach you how to skip count by fives. We're not going to be counting by ones anymore. One, two, three. No, we're going to count five numbers at a time. Go ahead and ask me that all important question. Mr. C, why do we have to learn this? What's so big about counting by fives? There's a few good reasons. First, skip counting helps you to see patterns in math. Seeing patterns in math is important because it makes it easier. It makes lots of things easier. And specifically, when we're talking about skip counting, it makes counting big numbers a lot easier. You group them up and count them faster. Also, when you're skip counting, you're, at, you're really multiplying. So if you know how to skip count by fives, you also know how to multiply by fives. So let's jump right in. I'm going to show you how to do this. We're going to talk about some of these patterns. So here we go. I'm just going to just give you a quick number chart, 1 to 100, right? If we were counting by ones, we'd go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? It would take a long time to get all the way from 1 to 100. We're not going to take that kind of time. We're going to count five numbers at a time. So we're going to skip the first four numbers and only say the fifth one. Ready? Skip, 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 skip. That's the first number we're going to say, five. Then we're going to skip the next four numbers and say the fifth number after that. Skip, 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 10. When we skip the next four numbers, we'll say 15. And then, one, two, three, four, 20. Do you see the pattern? Look, both of these numbers end in five. Both of these numbers end in zero. That pattern continues. After 20 comes 25, then 30, then 35, then 40, then 45. What comes after that? 50. Say it with me. Next number, 55, 60. We're going to stop there. We can keep going. We can go all the way to 100. We can go all the way to 1,000 if we wanted to, right? But this should be enough for us to see the pattern. Look, when you're skip counting by fives, all your numbers end in either five or zero. Let's skip count from zero to 60 together. Okay, ready? Zero, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. And if we kept going, right? 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. We could keep going beyond that, all right? but. Hopefully, this gives you a really good picture of how skip counting by fives can help you to count larger numbers much easier. You should already know how to skip count by tens. Next, we're going to get a little smaller and learn how to skip count by twos. I will see you next time.